three. Let's go. Wait, where the fuck? Oh, yes. damn. Already live. My bad. Oops. I was my turn off. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome tonight. Week four of 2020, Lenovo Legion, Legion of Valkyries. I'm Digital Cast, and as always, it's going to be the Grand Finals. And this week, slightly different teams is going to be Clefairy Crew versus Yep. We haven't seen these teams face off in Grand Finals just yet, I believe. But hey, first time for everything. And now, my co-casters, Christian Vidi, Crash OBS, the lovely Observer. And Connie, how are you guys doing? It's Chris. Yeah, look, I'm doing pretty well. Good to have uh, another another Thursday night where we get to watch uh, some more Valorant, I suppose. A couple of interesting rosters, I guess, we're going to mm -hmm. be looking at tonight. There's a bit oh, of yeah. a slight shake-up. So I I'm quite interested. What about you, Connie? Uh, yeah, from I from the looks of it, Cliff Fairy Crew has had the most number of changes, I believe. Um, actually, yeah, just two two, rosters, two players on the, sorry, Yep team. They've got Nila in, and they're also basically poach rainbow bunny from clefairy crew i believe mm. just for tonight just for tonight but hey depending on how they perform if this could go on for much longer but you know what let's just uh, have a chat about the uh, the vetoes real quick right because grand finals best of three series 150 dollar grand prize winners take all obviously so bind be mapped one being picked by Cl uh, cliff uh, cl uh, clefairy crew sorry breeze map two being picked by yep and haven to finish things off provided we get there uh, pretty stock standard Bit, like best of three map pool i reckon nothing too out of the ordinary but from what i recall breeze is a map we haven't really seen in legion of valkyries correct me if i'm wrong though connie uh no you're right um i think the last two weeks we saw a lot of icebox and that was banned first today in this matchup um so we've got breeze and also haven actually we've never seen much haven as well i don't mm -hmm. think uh, a lot of bind though we've seen bind before yeah but well, yeah keen to get into map two and potentially a map three very stock standard maps but then again all right we just started map uh map one and that's gonna be bind so chris i want to hear from you though predictions because i do think you know a couple of these players somewhat half decently any thoughts coming into this i think for me it's more a matter of how serious are we going to be seeing these compositions be i know clefairy crew they like to you know like they played neon on icebox and brimstone on icebox that's all i need to really say so it's really a matter of uh, I guess, are they going to be leaning more towards the meta? Are they going to be leaning towards these more sort of fun picks? I'm already seeing three really decent hovers. Okay, four pretty good hovers for the side of Clefairy Crew. So that's already getting me quite excited. Mm -hmm. But I think yeah. something very standard like Brimstone Chamber, like at least those two agents and then followed up with a Sova. That's generally a pretty good core three. You can, I guess, build a comp around. And then you generally just flex in a raise or a, a jet. And then your fifth option is generally an extra flex. But both the comps we're seeing, I guess the comp towards, I guess, yep. Yeah, is really i'd say it's pretty standard they've now decided to hover the sky over the sage either way i would have been quite happy with that because sage is quite oppressive on this map especially on that defensive side sage probably one of those picks that uh, after, i guess after those big nerfs years ago everyone completely forgot about and then people have kind of realized okay she still has value she's still extremely oppressive but we're not seeing that tonight it's looking extremely stock standard Select for the side of yep. but on the other side though we've only seen a brimstone lock in so i'm not really too sure what to expect it but okay so we've got a rain hover as well i think this might just be a very very heavy w key comp a very yeah i mean look Ooh. at that you got raised to clear all the space you got the care for the info mm -hmm. obviously the brimmy with the stimmy is going to get you onto that site and then you got emmy on the rainer i guess that's sort of a carry agent quote unquote so there's probably going to be the player that we want to look towards to for that clefairy crew side i think yeah. she's definitely got a, a, a i guess you could say a bunch of really good pieces around her as well uh, yeah i think both compositions has its strengths uh yep is definitely opting for the double initiator setup but I feel like Clefairy Crew is more balanced. Um, I do prefer Rays over Jet on this map because of her utility and her ability to clear, like, who can really efficiently, for example. Yeah, yeah uh, I, I, I do absolutely agree. And especially, you know, when I first started off uh, on, on, the, on this map, I always thought that, oh, you know, it seems they should play what they're comfortable with. But after watching a couple of higher tier games, namely APAC VCT recently, I'm like, yeah, yeah you know what? Rays kind of kind of is good, but they were running double duelist. Course, but I think for me as well, I'm not gonna pretend. I'm not gonna sit here and pretend Clefairy Crew's comp is actually good. I think it's like mm -hmm. if someone rocked up to like VOT with that comp, I would instantly just write them off. But I think the reason <laughs> why I can Aww. see them finding success with it is because they're all just kind of playing to their strengths. They're all just on comfort picks, and you got Emmy on the Reyna. You know, you got Zara on the Chamber. They're all playing these agents that they're extremely comfortable with. So I think it's really a matter of oh comfort God. over, you know, playing towards that meta. And I think it may play a lot more into their favor than I guess the opponents here. 
Yeah, I thought it was going to be aggression off the gate, but just waiting around. Rainbow Bunny's going to spot what? One! Out oh, of yeah. that one! But I guess traded by Emmy. First pretty instantaneous. Nyla, oh, trying her best. Can't land those kid hunter shots. True. First to get that frag. And now Bethany's on site with the Shorty. It's a bold endeavor. And she gets one. Gets good damage onto the second. But however, Emmy will finish her off. Raina overhealed like a tank. Playing an awfully close angle, though. And they just not go unpunished. Good for one. There's a jet dash out of the smoke. And Emmy just dashing away to safety. Rose is in a rough spot. She still gets a kill, though. Rosa gets the second by herself. But from behind, Zara playing the ultimate low curve finish. the jump. But Rosa in the between a tight corner. She managed to come out on top. I'm not wow. even gonna. Yeah, look, I don't, I don't, I don't know how that was even possible to get through there. Uh huh. Yeah, I'm not gonna pretend like that should have happened there. But look, piss around for Kofari crew. That's obviously the start you want. I think they need to set the tempo early here, especially. You don't really want to give the other side, or, or I guess the other side, yeah, you don't want to give them any space to breathe here. I think they need to be playing into their strengths here. The Ray's just being able to fly onto the site with the Brimstone setting them up. KO ult is also going to be something I guess we can look at going into these later rounds once they do have it online. Mm -hmm. I think they've got so many initiation tools. They don't have something like a Sky or a server though, which would obviously be more consistent, but I think... Just the, the W key. It sounds so like cliche, but I think the W key for them is actually going to be extremely impressive. And I'm very curious to see how it does decide to play into their favor throughout this, uh, I guess, attacking half here. Walk in. Knife will not spot the Sova rotating. No, Spike will get out now. Satchel up. Spike Little plays action it. back and forth. Emmy and Shore tag team duo. They get these first kills flowing their way. And the defense, look, they're on just, just kind of crappy guns here. Laney trying to run it in. And yeah, they don't live for too long. Toki, yo. My goodness, how's this lady still alive? Zara. Oh, that's a bit brutal. She won't finish the job. And Nyla, once again, in a very similar situation. Unfortunately, maybe a bit of a game one jitter. It's a bit cold right now. But hey, that's uh, about as clean as it gets. Yep. I mean, that was a force, wasn't it? Mm, not quite. Maybe was upgrade, it not? upgrade pistols no. at, at the best. Pistols. Oh, no, I mean a, um, a flawless, sorry. What am I saying? Oh, oh flawless. yeah, flawless, yeah. Hey, man, you're also getting game <laughs> just, one. Look, yeah, Please. it's been a while. That's all I'm going to say. But yeah, flawless trying to come out. That's already bolted the economy. Emmy also bought a Vandal in that round. So she's going to be able to bring that one into their bonus round. That's extra firepower already on that quote-unquote star player what? for this that side. I'm curious to see if they do get a bit of a, you know, a bit of a pop-off round. They are one-off, that Empress. So there's definitely a lot of room to actually win this round, even though it's the... Oh, my God. Okay. Well, even though it's their bonus, they're all starting... They're hitting shots. So it doesn't matter that you have these weaker weapons, I'll tell you that much. They found my trap. Well, Nyla. Similar situation. Let's see how she deals with this pressure. Rainbow Bunny not quite really there to back her up. Here's the footsteps on site. Nyla! Okay. Oh, my foot is going to shoot. Nah, just TP's to safety. That's all right. Zara, once again, on this god load position. And it's going to be Nyla trying to catch someone out. But look at where the jet is. Rose up deep behind the enemy lines. That's a jet smoke. And Zara is the way someone's around the corner. And it dissipates at the worst of times. And Zara just running the out of there, getting the hell out of dodge. Rabbit Bunny starts off nicely with the first frag. And the attackers, these getting destroyed one by one. Remy Simi comes down. The crossfire is good, but the trades are better coming up from Yep. And Zara, that's a huge whiff, unfortunately. Rosa coming out on top. Emmy 1v4. Rough summer spot to be in. You have the Empress. Doesn't want to pop it just yet. Can't heal. Can't dismiss. Bethany quick on that trade. Still a very good round for a bonus. You got three kills and a plant. You know, their economy is going to be looking real good, especially coming off the back of that flawless in mm. round two as well. Thank you. Look, I mean, looking at this as well, something to note is one of the, what is it, Null Command and one of the Orbital Strikers, or Futura and Mish, respectively. These are pretty key ultimates, and I'll, I'll be honest with you, if they weren't all leaning towards this B-side right now, I'd say, okay, look, you know, one of them's going to lean towards showers, grab that orb, not for free, but you'll fight for it, but you'll get the orb, and that's an extremely influential ult that you can bring into this round. I'm assuming they want to farm B-Long here, but have a look at this read that we're seeing out from Yepto. They're expecting them to try to farm this ult orb towards showers, and I, I don't know, maybe they're... Maybe Clefairy Crew's just one step ahead. I'm not too sure here, but they had a, they had the right idea. I like how they're going for this orb here, trying to deny the opponents, but it oh, doesn't yeah. matter. They're grouped up towards B here. Like, this is... I, I don't know if it's a heads-up play or just you win that 50-50. I mean, but In, they're rotating fast as hell right now, and the and the attackers, it's starting to gear up for the site take. Raymond Buddy needs this full miracle here. Oh, dear. Damage is done, but you will lose her life. That's a lot of damage! I have a player's down. Cycling overrun. Bethany 
in a dual dying situation. One and done. Great recon arrow. Only good for a one. Trying to go for a second. The bull spray isn't quite there. Roses arrived. The backup is here. And now it's all down to this lady. One on three. Only the blaze to play with. Probably wishing she didn't throw away the vandal. Has probably picked up a rifle on her way in, though. But look, 1v3. I wouldn't quite rate it, Connie. No, I wouldn't. But, you know, maybe if she could find a kill or two, if they... Over peak here, they look like about to double peak right now, and Toka will close it in the round. Crash, as you mentioned, you were talking about the ultimate orbs. The defenders went to go get the showers one, so then Rosa could pop her ult, and then it didn't matter because the attackers, Clefairy crew, they went towards the biggest side to get that orb, and I believe. I don't know who collected I think it was. Zaro, or was it Mish? Probably Mish, who collected that orb. And now, you know, we got two ults, three ults ready, up ready for Clefairy crew. Yeah, it's it's pretty scary. I mean, they've got five guns for the side of Yep, so they do have a fighting chance going into this round there. But I mean, the fact that they've already got the ult economy in their favor so early on is already just a bunch of these sort of tells that you know that Clefairy crew is really here and they know exactly what they're doing. They know how to work they're the map extremely well. Hard. Okay, wait, what is going on here? Hold. That's what? <laughs> oh my goodness, around happening? the world, they're going right over towards the B site. Now it's probably crapping itself, but again, there's two players over towards Octagon and Lady and Raven Bunny, the duo that managed to stop the aggression right then and there. Zara on look, does catch out Rosa, but have a Laney on the other side of the map, won't finish off Mish, getting thirsted a little bit there. Now the attackers, they are playing down, but the Sassan just regroup and just, you know, regather the thoughts. Yeah, no. Down. The Seekers have kind of, you know, given a telltale sign. They're outside of a hookah. And no one's on A, though. And the trademark is already gone from short. And it's absolutely free. As Zara's about to clear showers, as they know it's dirty, Chua will drop the spike. And the retake is on, 4v3. Yeah, not quite what they would have liked to have in that situation. And the defense. Obviously, the player advantage starting to use Util to worm their way over towards the site. Hunter's Fury as well online, by the way, should they need it. Nice flash, doesn't get much value out of it though. Util being expanded out. Shower's engagement first, and Snyla who destroys her counterpart. Churo stands to nothing, really. And just like that, and blink of an eye, all the kills for the way of the defense. That's a quick and easy defuse. Don't even start that shit. I mean, I don't know. I feel like the, the post plant was a little bit lackluster from Clefairy Crew. I think some of the positions that they chose, one playing towards triple, it's not really something that you look at and go like, okay, that's a power play. That's a powerful position right there. I was expecting maybe more of either a U-Haul uh, double up and then the late lurk in Zara and Showers, or you just decide to crossfire on the site directly. But I mean, you know, that it's not something you really look at because obviously you're going to be able to get spam from that location. But at the end of the day, really nice retake coming out from Yep regardless of the positioning from Clefairy Crew. They didn't drop a single member going into that retake. That's 4v3 there. And they only burnt the Seekers. They didn't even decide to use the Hunter's Fury as well. So they still have a that really important ultimate coming into this next round. And have a look here. The economy for Clefairy Crew is in a very, very weird spot. They've got a pistol and a Spectre on board right now, as opposed to the five rifles on the opposite side. Time to Ooh, the dog will spot out two players. Amy's gonna go off that lair. Let's swap Ooh, right oh. off the third one as well. Rainbow <laughs> Bunny with a massive B. triple. That's Cap. That's Cap right there, Rainbow Bunny. She saw what was ahead of her and she still picks up all three. They fail to trade a single sky. Zero flashes too, by the way. Tokyo, great start on the lady. Pops the ulti though, it's a bit ambitious. And she still gets the kill on the Rainbow Bunny. And she's still alive for crying out loud. Remaining. Okay, Bethany, you finally finished the job. And now it's all down to Zara. The old girl here has to regain the spike and still fights off a 1v3. Nyla around the corner, recon arrow. She misses and they know exactly where she is regardless. Aldrone first, and Nyla just sharper on the trigger. Three to three. Bit of, uh, I was worried that she was going to peek too early there. Yeah, um, same. On the, especially just before the Aldrone comes out, because I'm pretty sure Bethany would have been called that. I'm going to drone her out. But then, you know, if she wins that duel, for example, it becomes, uh, you know, 1v2. A gift. And if she isolates more fights, you know, it could be a losable round. Yeah, I think... I'm not too sure what the issue behind that is though, but yeah, obviously you don't want to be taking that random fight, especially when the drone's coming down. The Zara get, was given a slight window to actually make this round possible. They wasn't able to capitalize on it. Oh, it's still a competitive play. round regardless, but Rainbow Bunny obviously some pretty insane heroics there. That lineup and then the third kill on top yeah. of all that, that's almost going to be another Seekers coming online. If you have a look, they've actually just gone 
push showers, they've just gotten a Seekers online. So after that triple kill, and there's like deciding to push showers here, the Seekers is online. That's another retake tool they have available to them, but they've already got a three stack towards B here. Oh, launching smoke. Oh, the whiff. Oh, not quite the whiff. How'd she, go, but, wait, out. how'd she go for that though? That's ridiculous. Hey, I don't know, man. Just like an, an Elden Ring, hitboxes are good. As long as you jump over it, you ain't getting hit. Just saying. But look, they're stacked over towards Octagon. A very similar situation we've seen Clefairy Crew try to attempt in the past. And they had some initial success, Ooh. but in later rounds, hasn't quite gone their way. Nyla, sneaky position. Can't TP out to safety though. So she is in a one and done. But the Phantom at that range might be good for a few here, Connie. No, but Knife will spot out Befty in back side. They're facing a stack though. There's three players already here. No, it's the first. We'll get the spray out on the second. But Russo and Ulti will come out early. 30 seconds left. Oh, not too much value though. Laney, 1v3. And she catches standing. Zara looking the wrong way. One bullet gets the kill. Churro. She does get the spike down. And Emmy has arrived as backup. All down to Rosa. The clutch is out 1v2. And honestly, I think she can do it. Full kit of U-Tilt. And Emmy looking for an early engagement, I like to think. All right, good flash. Gets that guaranteed information. One more to go, though. Probably calling for the rotations. I love that fake dash onto the site. Trying to figure out exactly where she is. 12 bullets. Rosa has to choose her shots carefully. Around the corner, Churro's there. Rosa, first engagement, instant headshot. Six, and oh. Rosa, the 1v2, the clutch, the retake. This girl, I'm telling you, she is something else. Yeah, something I just wanted to mention there as well. The, the leer from Emmy, it wasn't just... I, I don't think she'd randomly do that. I'm pretty certain she's throwing that out to see if Rose is actually coming from that whole yeah. location or the CT spawn location. That's just info right there. You need to confirm yeah. where she is because mm -hmm. you need to figure out how you want to play this post plan correctly. You have two members. You can either hold a crossfire. You can both maybe move towards elbow. You can play towards long. But if you confirm the information earlier, you obviously just change your plan completely there. But the issue was, is they didn't really have too much time to readjust to the fact that Rosa was coming from that position the fake dash out the smoke as well she's just playing with some of the timings trying to isolate these fights and they gave it to her they decided you know they didn't exactly i guess hold each other's hand in that scenario and rose is really good at capitalizing on those situations she always finds that little gap that she needs to actually good timing. Guess, with these clutch rounds out yeah she finds these timings she finds these little opportunities and more often than not capitalizes on them yeah, so now we've got Nyla here with the Tour de Force, except everybody gets picked in shower. <laughs> <laughs> so and she loses it just like that. Destroyed. KO, an absolute menace. Nyla with the classic. Lainey's there to back her up, though. And not for long. Emmy just runs right in. And Lainey, oh my goodness, the headshot machine. She's back this week as well. Tokyo, it's a bit disastrous on the second blast pack, but it's okay. Her teammates are there to back her up and get these kills. Bethany, smart play, back off and play the post plant retake. Oh no, Bethany. Princess Fury getting launched out early. Gets zero value and information out of it though. And bear in mind the attackers, they still have the orbital struck to play with. And that exactly is exactly what Churro's doing, playing out long. Zara the crossfire, it's disaster! Not getting anything! Zara gets taken out and another what? retake from the defense! They're so good on this! Oh man, how did they do that? That was a two on three. Again, the post plant's oh, failing Clefairy Crew there. That important? Um, just getting caught out of position, trying to, you know, walk around that site box. And I'm just surprised, like, when you're dead on, like, your defending side and your Sova's about to alter, you should be pinging the bomb for them because I don't think the Hunter's Fury hit anyone. But nevertheless, you know, they won the round and they shouldn't be coming down to these clutch rounds. What do you feel? Yeah, look, I think as well, it's just the fact that they, I, I mean, obviously we've seen that they're comfortable in the retakes. So I think it's also the fact that the experience of Bethany and Rosa, both, I guess, as a as a duo or just playing in a, a previous teams, they're comfortable going into these sorts of scenarios. So obviously, you know, they, like that Hunter's Fury, you know, it's it's not optimal, but, you know, sometimes you kind of just have to go for the blind Hunter's Fury. So even a blind shot, Amy just managed oh. to get one on the Rainbow Bunny and she's not even looking at her. Yeah, that, that jellyfish is just kind of going in the walkabout right now. Not too sure what's going on, but Rosa gets intel and backs away to safety, waiting for, for a rotation. Rosa, though, looking to maybe punish showers before she rotates into that angle. Zara may not see this coming. Rosa, and she whiffs the shot, holding it too close. That's rough. Now, at this point, the attack is really eyeballing this A site. Clefairy crew still five players strong. Here comes the site take. Spike will go down for free as, you know, Laney smoked off. Down. 
Yeah, smokes down. Utah getting pumped up with the retake. It's a little bit gassy to say the least. Laney runs in there. She's good for one, but gets traded out instantly. There was no one to, there to back her up. Emmy expecting to peek over towards heaven. Bethany in the bit of a cautious spot. Has to choose the right time to drop. Recon arrow comes out and Emmy towards the boss by Mitchell was there to back her up. Nyla now in this almost unwinnable situation as the players of Clefairy Crew just collapse upon her as they regain control of momentum. I mean, that's a comfortable hold right there. I just wanted to say before, I'm not gonna pretend like Hunter's Fury is a perfect ability. Sometimes you kind of just have to throw it out blindly. Mm -hmm. uh, and generally, you know, so you're not gonna hit all the time. It's just kind of what happens, I suppose. But look, really nice post plant to come out. They also have that orbital strike available. So I think the chances of them actually losing that 3v5 with an orbital strike available is extremely, extremely unlikely. <laughs> and the fact that yeah. they made it look so easy and you know, that all that always just gives me a bit more of, uh, I guess, makes me more optimistic for this roster. Mish also has the null command available and it looks like they're leaning very heavy towards B. This could be a little bit of a interesting tempo. They might just slow it down at the start and look to completely burst towards the end. That knife will not find anywhere playing in close octagon or even close outside yeah. long. Dog might spot a few, so the smokes will come out to hold them back a bit longer. It's already a four-man stack here on B. Does yep. Clefairy Crew still continue on? Oh, this is, this is very intense. There comes the uh, null command to Tokyo. I don't know about that blast pack. Maybe it's using it for a few tactics. Bethany. Oh, okay. The shotgun was good for one. That's all down to Nyla. And a really rough spot here. And look, they committed to the B site. Four stack, no problem. They mowed everyone down. Mish gets brought back to life. And Rosa, well, she has the blades. We'll get a U-Tilt. And she loses the blades. Oh, my goodness. KO is an absolute menace. Probably just... Exit frags is the best thing she could hope for at this point. They flash Emmy in. Rosa praying for dear life. She gets the blades back and swings into a firing squad. Five to five. Clefairy crew, they're back. Oh, man. That rem that the four players just in spawn just reminds me of um, a very, like, famous Counter-Strike. It's a gra graffiti on Dust2 where, you know, Norpa peeks into spawn oh, to yeah. get that mid-pick, right? Yeah. Into spawn, and then there's, Wasn't like, five orpers, you know, Fnatic? staring yeah, back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Four, four, <laughs> yeah. I think it was. I think it was four or five. I'm yeah, like definitely, yeah. I forgot which team was against, but... Uh, I think it was Envy. Possibly. Envy, because they, like, did remember. it to Apex or something, I think, off the top of my head. I'm not too <laughs> sure, actually. Actually, so, you might be right. Yeah. I, I think as well, it's just... I said before at the start, like, their comp, it's not something I'd look at and go, okay, this is the most serious comp in the world. Okay, Zara's just managed to find a random pick on Nyla there. Looks like. Oh, oh, you're gonna one, but I, like, okay, this round looks like it's already over, you know, they're just up against these pistols, so I don't really think we can take this one too seriously, but I mean... Oh my god, this is so overkill. But for me, it's like... You kind of... I don't know how to explain it entirely though. Like they just have like the, it's such a weird comp though, but they play the pacing so correctly. The fact that they just walk up, they clear out Octagon, and they're like, okay, cool. Once we get into this position, we can now explode onto the site. And even though there's four members towards that B site, they don't care because they have the advantage. The null command is that such is an, just an insane ability. At that point, you're just taking four angels. Speaking of angels, rainbow. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. You can't be missing those. Lady, headshot machine taps two in the head. There's two players over towards Hugo. And it's a smoke top for Grant. Out loud. They can't get it done. Yeah. Number one trades all down to Emmy. 1v1. And Raven Buddy now's the time to land this shot. And indeed she will. Five HP remaining. She redeemed herself. Well, Chris, you were saying, I guess if yeah. this round's a rise off. Look what happened. Look, look, look. They, it's cost to cost for a reason, you know? Oh, so dear. sometimes sometimes when you feel like the round's looking a bit Last grim, you just gotta say something really stupid, you know, you just write them off completely. Just so they have a chance back in the round and then they get to surprise you. We have moments like that. Jesus. I mean, Lady's kind of picked up from where she left off last week, right, with the headshots. You see Rainbow Bunny, you catch Rainbow Bunny whiffing, like, you know, three sheriff-like shots onto someone not looking at her, and then Lady just rolls out of spawn and just, you know, clicks two heads, and it just flips its, the round on its head. Busting. That's, I, I, I don't know, Sheriff, there you go. There's, it's, it's just, it's that one gun in the game, they can have such, like, magical rounds with you know it comes out of completely nowhere sometimes you just feel in yourself and then you boom you just get two headshots clean as you can do it up against these rifles it doesn't matter that's like the one gun I'm, i just look at it and go like okay this like anytime someone has a sheriff I, you can never really doubt them can you no as uh Menmai says nothing you can do when you get one time to hit by a sheriff oh zara that's well you caught that to say the least you can uh look back on that and Hunter's Fury getting thrown out early and Raymond Bunny going on a tear at this point can't use the sheriff no problem the Vandal she's right at home and Rosa 
just destroying everyone. Clefairy crew, they got shut down on an anti-eco round, and now, huh? well, it's the last round of the half, so might as well throw out your ultis. Oh, oh the, it was bugged a few times. Did the Seekers thing, did that, wait, <laughs> did that, like, say Seekers are like players? Yeah, oh, I didn't hear that. Okay, well, okay, but I, I don't know. I heard Seekers twice. That, like, really threw me off there. But here's the thing that I, I find interesting with the this comp. It's you have chamber, okay, obviously, you know, chamber good on defense, you know, yeah, that's that's information, and information is king at the end of the day. You have the rays, we'll talk here. You know, good mm. information well, no, I guess somewhat good information with the Broombot. The raise date is really the general or the most common piece of utility we look at. And sure with the Molly, Mish with the Molly as well. It's kinda like you don't expect this comp to be or have as much impact on the defensive side, but they actually, they have a disgusting amount of mollies, which is something I really want to look at here. And we might be seeing a frenzy rush onto A here, but look who they're going to be greeted by. Oh it's dear. two frenzies though. Wait. Four frenzies. Let me bring A, let's go. <laughs> here it comes, and it's actually typical attack raids. Emmy goes for the overkill as opposed to dismissing away to safety. She gets mown down. Shura being a little right inside the smoke as the defense is getting completely stomped over. Shura, what are you doing? What are you getting looking? Okay, kisses Lyle on the full head and sits, puts her to bed. At this point, remaining. it's just absolute chaos. All down to Shura playing inside the smoke. Does go for 20 seconds, and this is just absolute madness. Brimmy Simi running gun with these frenzies on pistol rounds oh my lord yeah. i mean how do you stop it i mean the ghost obviously is obsolete compared to the frenzy like close range point blank right no let alone four frenzies on the attacking side it's uh it's also really unfortunate when you try to make a play and you try to push down a shot at the start of the round and you get greeted by a oh, wide like four wide swinging frenzies so i think it's also the fact that they didn't even have a chance to react to what was happening to them they were already in such a terrible position to begin with and at that point you kind of just have to write the round off almost you know you lose two members towards the start you go one for two you know but there's four frenzies on the other side and they've just completely taken you out of position and they've gotten the a side essentially for free and sure has so much that you need to do at that point it's you know you're asking for a bit much here but look at it I, I just see look at the buy there's four judges there are four judges and two of them are in hoopla they get absolutely that? nothing done what? rosa just sprays and prays let's see any one and done oh dude they, they, these specters just running gun it's just something else in this current meta rosa though looking for a bit more here she checks the wrong really angle got? granted she kind of had to and that's all down to tokyo with only a judge to play oh god you gotta feel for her man no you tools, as well no armor even it's like you see two members in hookah with a judge each you can, you always back them you always back them there there's <laughs> no way that they just give up hookah like that they managed to get one at least but the trades are just so cool i guess so quick rainbow bunny gets one rosa gets a second and the, you know these judges this really interesting force fight it's Jeez. completely gone so south for them they have no money here. True is the only one that's going to be able to like afford a buy here. And the round that's meant to be your first gun round is looking like a first save round unless they just decide to... I, I don't know what's going on here. Their economy is... What, I don't know what's going on. Zara's purchased the Sheriff. True has got the Vandal. What's going on here, Connie? It's a uh, GG go next. Or forced till you win a round. As I like to call it. Actually, you know, I'm not too sure, to be honest. It's, what, it's one of those things that we actually really do talk about for the side of... Um, very crew and like um now i'm speaking from pure ranked experience is that for some yeah. of these players right when things don't go well their way they get shut down such as from that um more the anti-eco round uh they start playing a little bit more individually and things just mm -hmm. just get looser and doesn't tend to work in their way and that's a fantastic pain shot that's a lot of damage done already around the, the back but how about there is uh there is the uh the heal coming out from sky and lady just oh, zero care in the world just walks right through two pieces of safety there's a few angles looking for some hits and there goes the TP over towards the B side, the defense. Five players strong over towards A, and here comes a mad rotation. It's a dash to the B side, guys. Oh, where was that blade? That was, oh, through the TP, I think. Really, really oh. well, well done. Shout out the yeah. util, but they did get a smoke down ahead of time. Rosa has a dash to play with. Heard that Five for sure. Play. Tokyo, that's ambitious. She tried her best and gets the pitch out of the sky. But meanwhile, the Brimmy Simi rush, they come right through the defense, they're popping heads, the front play. and center, and the defense. Host plant, sorry. They're just hanging around now, both inside Hookah. There's a flash. Out of the smoke, perhaps. Bethany, not quite there to join Rainbow Bunny for one. Rainbow Bunny for two. How do you get on the Zara? And no, oh, they tried their best, but Bethany couldn't quite land the shots. Really good retake. It got brutal, though, towards the end. Oh, I gotta say right now, Hookah is. The, if you're. Okay, this is, this is a general tip. If you're trying to post plant B 
and you're up against the smirking agent, you can't play in hookah. It's it's so bad to play in hookah because yeah. if you get smirked off, it's okay. So let's say you get smirked off hookah all along. Long you just need to push through the smirk. From hookah you need to push through the smirk and jump down. Yep. So you get put at such an insane disadvantage, and the fact that the last two Equipment members this. decided of yep a boat towards hookah and they need to flash through and drop down up against four opposing members. I mean. The odds are just not stacked in their favor. They make it competitive. They get a kill each, though, but I don't know. It's it's really hard. You've got two members in Hookah. They need to be on that site. Yeah, a bit of Deja Vu, as probably. there's going to be a fight in Shells for that orb. Except, yeah, they're going to back off, conceding the orb to Emmy. Well, they wanted the Blade Storm. One thing I want to talk about is um, over towards Remabani is how proactive she uses her flashes. Because in some of these rounds, we've seen her get five flashes off. Unfortunately, the most recent flash didn't really amount to much as Mesh just sprays us down with the Spectre. That's a rifle out of the hands now of Yep. And I think, actually, that's one of the few hero rifles they have. This is Stimmy Brim Brimmy. I'm not too sure if they hit her. The Brimmy Stimmy, sorry. I'm not too sure if they heard it. But that's a gun picked up and the attack is looking to really split this beast knight tag. And the defense looking to just play a simple stock standard of retake. They have the KO null command after all. Should be a piece of cake in theory. A lot of you two expended actually by the attacking side, so no molly for the post plant, and probably no shock darts as Spike well. Planted. As Tokyo in this flank is gonna be crucial. Oh, no. Rosa with two though. Rosa for three, she doesn't care, she's getting all these kills. Emmy strikes back. Laney, a bit of a rough spot. The hedgehog machine going to work, and Churro just like that, she gets two flicks and gets two kills. Oh my lord, and even gets the resurrection. You gotta maintain the economy, maintain the gun, girl. And she's gonna hand over the Holt Orb with the defuse there as well for Mish. Again, it's the post plant. Retakes are spinning out today, hey. I gotta say, these two teams, like, it's a bit, you know, of a mixed roster kind of thing going on here, but they are stepping up both sides, either individually or as a team. This is highly, highly competitive. As well. And me and Rosa were definitely the two players that we highlighted for both these teams. I mean, they're pretty. I guess easy to point out and go like, okay, well, that's the player of interest. But I mean, look at them. They're both 17 apiece and they're both mm -hmm. on the yeah. scoreboards for their teams respectively. So Thanks. I mean, looking at these players, they've been put into these positions, the Reina and the Jet respectively in these, I guess, quote unquote, carry roles, these carry agents. They're definitely Let's not disappointed play. here. So they are definitely stepping up to the plate. They're very consistent, both of them though. But here is something that's going to be very interesting. Rose with the Blade Storm. She's definitely one to watch out for here, sir. So. If there's a round that she needs to have a big pop off, this is definitely the one we need to see her do it. Yeah, for sure. As they're getting rid, they have to face two trademarks <laughs> pushing into B though. On oh, the <laughs> the knife is gone every single time. I can't use that. Every I, I can't. Yeah, indeed. But <laughs> she does get it back now. But it's really telegraphed at this point. The attackers flash dash smokes Yuto all the all the lot gets onto the site. Spike down even now. The defenders, they may have to really resort to these ultimates to try and start the retake. Good one-way flash, it keeps the defenders at bay for just a little bit longer. A counter ultimate, and Bethany gets wall banged through. Tokyo, great cross here placement. Rose, don't want to be slowed in a time like this, and the flash was perfect! She's blinded! Tip attack trades, and the defense is swarming over the side. All down to Nyla. You have the ultimate. Five bullets in tow, four bullets. What's on the headhunter? It's a rough spot to be in, and Zara will shut her down. Eight to nine. You know, it's a bit awkward, isn't it? So Rosa managed to dash onto site to avoid that trademark, but then during the post part, she it. accidentally walks back into it. And that was pretty much her demise there um, on that post plant. Mm. Again, Clefairy Crew, you know, winning the post plant with the, I guess... The retake. The retake, yeah. yeah. I, I, for me as well, this B site, it's obviously the one thing that's not working for them is the fact that they, have, they play half on site, half off site. When is gonna? When are they gonna? I guess bite the bullet and say, "Hey, look, maybe we need to push Elber here. We need to get yeah. some more advanced map control. We're kind of letting. Yeah. We're, we're losing to this retake. Very. I don't want to say easily, but we're kind of not holding as much as we'd like to here. You know, we've got some on the site, some off the site. When we get smoked off those players on the site, struggle. When are we gonna try to push Elber here? They've got a five man lean towards B, or I guess a five player lean towards B. And I. This is where it gets very interesting. Are they gonna be able to push Elber here? He only gets one in the entry there, but it's really a matter of what they decide to do from this point onwards. Oh my goodness, how is, how is Zara still alive? Rosa swings the corner, gets Mesh, and Zara! She swings wide as well, Bethany comes to punish. It's, this game is just so back and forth. You think it's gonna go, it's gonna go one way, and then what does uh, the very crew say? Pound B again, and this time it works. Let's see how they play this post plant. Much better, to say the least. Yeah, 
definitely might be better. Um, with the elbow, elbow push, I need more success. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, like, they just, they need to be taking more map control. They just lose the same thing every single Whoa. time. They realize they need to take elbow, and what do they do? They take elbow the second I tell them to. So I guess they can hear me. I'm not too sure what's going on there. Yeah, bro, stream sniping. Sure, it's got scammed by the uh, recon arrow. No punish just yet, though. But it doesn't matter. So many angles to clear. So many players to kill. Obviously, can't get that defuse safely. Double digits, and we'll be yep to get there first. Yeah, perfect adaptation, as Crush said. Push into Thanks. elbow, and I don't know if they have, you know, they heard you or something, and you know they definitely found success in that round. Um, you know, obviously when you have map control, the attackers mm. need to clear more angles, for example, and you know push out, and yeah, finding but all the entries as well. It's just, I'm it, the thing about that in particular is the fact that they realize, okay, look, we know what we have to do, and they instantly fix it. They don't let it manifest for a couple of rounds before they go like, hey, maybe we should do this. They're so quick with that. They they lose the, something that happened to them twice, and they're like, okay, look, no more of this. We know what we need to do, and they get this. They find the fix and they do it instantly. It's literally no time to settle down. And then I guess Leaning Swords be here though. Nothing too. I think this is the first time we've seen a proper default actually come out from them. They've generally decided yeah. to five towards B quite a bit. Mm -hmm. I think we're going to be seeing Seekers push on A here. Holy Tokyo! Oh, 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 gets oh, nothing oh, out of it! What? And Blind still gets the kill on the Rosa! Nyla, oh, yes, you took down Emmy, oh, the oh, biggest oh, fragger. I think this is getting brutal. Nyla, how'd you come out alive? One HP. Tokyo still unpunished and picks up the second. Bethany, Hunter's down, Fury, okay. gives them the woman advantage. And now the attack is the That's slow down for just a moment and the defense kind of playing half in, half, half off the side. And Tokyo trying to go for more, bites off more than she can chew and now leaves Mission in a very awkward situation. 1v3 on the retake, not much util to play with. One flash and she reads the fake back over towards A. There's never a time to step up as well. Now would definitely be that time. Wait, wait. does she realize? Oh, oh, no, I think, I think she, wait. You heard wrong. Wait. Oh no, this is awkward. Headphones backwards. Uh, oh mesh. Wait. I, I thought they were she, waiting for a late lurk. Yeah. Or are they saving the gun? Is she trying to uh, is she trying to catch a lurk? Uh, yeah. I think they were trying to catch a lurk. There's no All way right. you do that otherwise. I, I don't yeah. believe you do that. Yeah, they have to be catch I thought I they had to have been catching a lurk. <laughs> that does make a lot of sense though, because yep. generally, you know, if you do that sort of TP play and you try to run towards B, you can have a late lurk come in through towards that CT position. Mm, yeah. And finish them going into the retake, you know, and then Mish would have a lot of angles that they need to deal with though. At least they're aware of the possibility. That's something that, like. Oh my god. Oh, wait, hold up. Yo, yo! Wait. What is going on? Okay, never mind. They're not gonna pop through that. But the thing I like, even though the fact that play doesn't work out in the end, it's the fact that they were mindful enough to even be considering that as an option. Yeah. No, Mish is a really, like, all round player. Like, when she played CS, I rated her when she played CS as well. So, yeah, she has a. She's more of a. Proactive slash thinker. Percentages, kind of? Yeah. Yeah, yeah she's a high percentage player as well. So she, you mostly see her on the support roles, like the initiator, um, KO. She usually likes to play the full roles as well. So smokes and like initiator is kind of like her jam. You ain't kidding. Chora and Mesh, 15 assists and 12 assists respectively. Standing That's something massive to say the least. Ruby Stimmies and those KO blades and flashes. Well, this round looks like a uh, very crew. Just going back to their good old faithful, Pound B. But they this though, this, yeah. how, how are they gonna cross? The Blast trip? back over, I guess. Uh, for for just one, go for it. Or just shoot it oh, at, no. at this point. Oh, Zara spots the head of his Rosa first. That's a big punish. And there's a flash. Mitch pushes out, and they just get destroyed. They get completely flogged, and this defense is kind of falling to pieces at this point. Zara gonna have to back off for a time being. The retake though, Emmy. First time I think popping the Empress finally. Better late, better late than never, I suppose. Eats the flash. How does she not get spotted, lady? That was on her iPad. And Emmy dismisses onto the site and out in the open, though. Playing it safe a little bit around the corner. A blind comes through, and it's all down to her. 1v2, one kill. There's a second. Oh, what a sharp flick, this girl. When she gets called to step up, she delivers. Oh, boy. Another 2v4 retake. You know, that flash, okay, I think it could have used Rainbow Bond because she threw it into spawn, but then it collect it blinded the player in Hookah, which they did not expect at all. Yeah. And then Lainey just gets caught out of position by the Hookah player, and it just falls apart from there. As well, I think the second Zara gets that initial pick and it's become a 5v4 retake, you just need to back off. They they took, I think there was too much initiative that they wanted to take. Mission Shura, mm. with the flash through to, from Hall's. 
they both get punished for that. I think it's these sorts of plays, the great ideas though, but when you have the net, like as the numbers advantage, there's really no need to be going for that to begin with though. So I like a lot of the things that they're doing, but some things like some interesting plays like that, I just think they're a little unnecessary. And the fact that they have a player like Emmy to step in and clutch up when needed though is always great there, but I don't really think it's a situation she should have to be in, in the first place. Oh dear Tokyo. That, that's a lot of damage. Okay. But that's the problem, you know, not having a healer on your team, no sky to patch you up. A pretty good pick, by the way, on a map like Vine. And look at how proactive they were over towards the B side, picking up the ult orb towards long for the attack. This time, we pound A. Orbital strike over towards u Hall. Rosa, spiding her time a little bit. And that smoke is beautiful. It allows the teammates to just walk onto the site. But it's a bit of a nasty crossfire, though. Nyla for one, Nyla for two. And the defense is falling apart. The spike surely suits get planted. And Rosa point blank is Zara. I mean, it's a bit of a rough spot again. This time the ult to bail her out. And finish with the Spectre. And that's match points for Yep. Yeah, absolutely lovely coordination there on that round. Just match pushing point. A on the back of the Brimstone Orbital Strike. Clearing out u Hall for Rosa to dash in and take that space. And Nyla with a perfect flank with from Shower. Getting the two, like trading out the two players that were playing on A. Okay. They just round over from there, I believe. Yeah, that's the that's the perfect four on the split. You always want that if you if you know that they play towards showers during their A default, you need that late player going through that location, pinching them when they get onto the site. Because mm -hmm. you need the, you need those layers. You, know, you can all rush up short, have some success though, but the consistency is not always going to be there. You need to add those extra layers to the strat, and that's exactly what now, uh, I guess now was able to pull off there. Walk through showers, freest double kill of their life, and you know seals the deal for them in the end. And that's going to be able to put the 12th round on the board here. This is a do or die scenario. There's a stinger. There's a stinger in the game. You, that's not something you see every day. And that's just, I guess, telling you how bad the economy is right now. Hey, look, uh, arguably a uh, Grimmies to be stinger. Those, th th those things are deadly as hell. Well, in Tokyo, I mean, we had this chat like a year ago, right? Were you using u tool to confirm what you already know? And realistically, it's, it's not gonna stop them that much. Smoke's out, flashes out as they walk over towards the A site. Shaolin's late look on Rosa this time. Yep. The defense, they're Same rotating play. over fast. But perhaps not fast enough. Zara, I don't care. They've got these frags, but Rosa, she's a clincher. Rosa, finding the time. One. No, the second was inside the smoke. And sure, it swings out. The stinger did not amount to anything. And now it's all down to Mish. A judge in hand. Maybe a sheriff. But no, there's rifles in front of her. Just not looking to grab it just yet. Holding the line. Close by. That's Nyla. Just flushed off the angle. The high wall bang penetration. She could have gone for the wall bang. But Nyla holds her ground. 13-9. It kind of came closer. This was a very competitive game. game. But yep, I think they just had the better teamwork overall. Um, I think it was more of the individual plays. I think they had more clutch plays, like clutch individual plays. Okay. Um, I think both sides, I guess, failed on the post plan a little bit. And, you know, the retakes were great. Mm -hmm. But, like, individual plays, like, you know, remember Rainbow Bunny's little 3K? Highway robbery. Absolute highway robbery at, like, the Octagon area. That's true. And then there's just so many, like, 2v4s that were lost on one basically and yeah, it was a bit back and forth in that sense i think for me as well is just it it's one of those games where you really do get to see a lot of that individual skill shine rainbow bunny as well i need to point your attention towards the stat five first bloods on the sky mm -hmm. that's uh like i'm not, like they went 14 and 9 19 on the kd right yeah but yeah. the fact that they're finding five first bloods it does i don't care about the 19 deaths i just care about the fact that five of her kills were first bloods and yeah. Rosa only with two. I'm not gonna say that like she needs to be finding more first bloods, but the fact that if she's not able to find these entries and someone else in the team is stepping up to the plate, that's what I'm trying to highlight here. That's something that is I'd, is actually quite interesting to see. It's not really something you see every day, I suppose. Kind of, but then again, I think between these two teams, their their play styles aren't really too much about going for these first initial frags. And I take a, a few rounds that Remy Bunny, she was the kind of player that would go out individually and try hunt for something, maybe an old orb or some damage. But overall, during these site takes, it's more these two teams that they play really close contact on site, and that's when things get brutal. And at that point, I really think just it just comes down to the angle and the positioning, and you know, like uh, the the flanks that we saw a few times there over towards the A site, the late showers look. And that's when the team play comes in. So it doesn't really matter who gets the first frag. It's, it's, it's just about who wins the duel and who can maintain side control. But well, ladies and gents, that's map one done and dusted. Short four minute breather before we proceed into map two, which is going to be Breeze. And that's going to be new for Legion of Valkyries. Don't go away just yet. This is going to be a banger.
the right side. All right, ladies and gents, welcome back. Map to Lenovo Legion, Legion of Valkyries, week four. I'm pretty sure that is. Digital Cast, Crash, uh, Crash OBS, Whoa. and Connie. Whoa. Now, all right, I know, I know. It's a late night, you know, <laughs> after the whole day of work and everything. I didn't even have time to nap. But hey, look, map two. Breeze, because map one on Bind, I think between Yep and Clefairy Crew, it was a bit of a close affair initially, but towards the end, um, Yep really pulled ahead. But map two though, Breeze, we haven't seen this yet in uh, Legion of Valkyries. I think this is gonna be a little bit of a, a toss up, Chris. Uh, I think Breeze is generally gonna be probably that one map in the pool. You can also argue Icebox, that is very, very aim heavy. It's generally <coughs> one where the angels, I guess, I don't know. They reign supreme there. A lot of the jets taking those initial contacts. Yeah. It, you know, dashing out, etc. You know, operators as well. Oh, I love this map, operators. Woo! Everyone, everyone likes operators in this game, don't we? We love yeah. uh, we love chamber as well. Having a free yeah. operator. You know, I'm, yeah. I'm gonna shut up because that annoys me a little bit. But look. Oh really? I think. Ah, I, oh, I mean, I, I'm not. I'm never gonna be a fan of ultimates that influence economy, in like a in like a good way. Yeah, I like, mean, I mean, jet has no knives, and then yeah. That's, yeah, that's a weapon, fair. right? Yeah. Yeah, I know. I'm still not a fan of them. I'm not gonna lie. I think it's that's a bit added. Oh my god, jet knives are probably like the one ability in the game that's been like, what is it? There was six. There was six points, and then you couldn't right click anymore with them. Yeah. Otherwise, they don't reset. Like, oh, well, I don't yeah. know. I can't believe that ability used to be six points. And the f I, I, okay, whatever. And like, you can basically like, dash in there super quick, right click, yeah. get the get them back instantly, right click oh again, Korean do it again at like mid range yeah. as well. But oh, now you. I think it's it's Zara Chamber. Is gonna be a problem with the headhunter. It's an eight hundred dollar guardian. Well, here's the th here's the thing that I'm interested in. The, yep. We've actually seen. Okay, well we've got two literal like we've basically got the god comp in my opinion, which is the one with the KO. Oh, the god comp. Yeah. Well, well, it's one of those things where KO. I've always you're always gonna get more value out of KO when you can deny them. I okay. One yeah. thing that you see generally is the drones, right? Mm -hmm. uh, server drone and sky dog. KO like EMP is a complete counter to that right so yeah. on a map like breeze where people generally run these double drone comps care instantly skyrockets in value and the fact that they're going to be playing this care into a sky and into a server that's maximum value it doesn't get much better than that essentially so yeah. this is really going to be where we see this care value shine but i'll be honest i, don't, I wouldn't doubt rainbow bunny on the sky we definitely saw there's five first bloods last game a lot of impact there that 3k is all down with dr gone i think they're still very capable on these agents even when their utility gets taken away for a brief portion of time yeah as you mentioned you the like, care with the i guess more value with especially when you're executing and when you throw counter util as like as a defender for example um obviously as an attacker you don't want to be running into counter util when you make noise not. and you're trying to pop them to site but he will have Laney on Chamber this time. Viper will cut a site in half. Orb will be taken as well as they're going to prepare for the A execute him. Yes, they will indeed. Laney, like I said, $800 Guardian. Only has a couple of bullets less, though. Just need, just need to find those headshots. But Nyla, okay, this is ambitious. Hey, look the wrong way. And Zara two taps her to the body. This could prompt an instant rotation over towards the B site. Oh, they're just gonna play it patiently and see if Yep will over aggress, but I like as that. they silently just Oh <laughs> as I say that Che gets pinked for our troubles there. Jesus Christ, Bethany, that's sharp as attack. Now Laney kinda has to back off, has lost her usual remember bunny out, she swings! It's a bit disastrous. Oh, she does so down. much okay. damage though. 3v3 post plant. Zara coming in, trying to do some damage. But how it does get forced damage. back. Now it's all down to Zara. Point blank will execute Rosa, but still wants to deal with Laney and of course, Bethany. So at this point, what's the call, Zara? Oh, that drops down. Throw it down to 55. Bit of a TP over towards mid. I kind of like left. the idea. Ooh. Not too sure how much value you should get out, but I'm though. Time. That's the that's the enemy right now. It's not the two players on the map. It's time. You need to find both these players, or get the spike. Kill, kill. Oh, Ooh, it's tough. And she's looking the wrong way. She's looking the wrong way. She's a knife. <laughs> oh, and Bethany just reacts faster. Zara getting caught with the pants around her ankles. The diapers already hanging out. That's rough. I initially liked that play where she TP'd into mid, right? But can you imagine if she had a bit more time to play with? Because that's threw off the timing a little bit, I believe. And Bethany was looking into spawn um, in that case. And unfortunately, you know, you don't get 4 3 in Valor, do you? No, you don't. So exactly. I, I wanted to yell 4 3. But yes, I, I remember. I remember. Look, wait, this isn't CS. <laughs> this isn't CS. This is Valor. 
Yeah. Uh, yeah, obviously you take away the time, it's going to be a lot more, f you know, you have, it's a lot more favorable. But, I don't know, I, I actually quite like the fact that, okay, well there you go, landing with the very easy shot there. But I, I really like the fact that the defenders decided to just completely sit in their positions and not really friends of the move around the map, even after the data player. I think that's just really good resilience, really good patience from them. You know, we don't need to move anywhere. Okay, they have the pick, they can go beat. Let's just play retake. Let's not just decide to yeah. give up our current positions that we're in just for the fact that we've lost a, a pick into the round. I think and, it's just really good heads up play from them. And yeah. they play together. That's also uh, massively of important course. as well. But in this round, look, the attack is it's, it's a very stiff eco and they're just playing together with um individual plays, really. And they're getting picked off one by one. So not too sure what the idea is here. Unless Emmy can be good for one. <laughs> it's just absolute silence. It's a stalemate between the Sovers in halls. As true with the one enemy remaining. <laughs> Get shot in the back of the head. A. Yeah. And Beth will close it out. Beautiful. That's a uh, well yeah. I, I mean you want that flawless, you know? That, mm -hmm. it, doesn't, it literally doesn't get better than a flawless. So yeah. that's already going to bolster their economy in such, an, in such a great direction. You also save two marshals, three specters, which is, yeah. I'll be honest, marshals on Breeze, we all know what they're like. I know yeah. for a fact, Peace last mm -hmm. year, right they won a lot of rounds because mm -hmm. of those marshals on Breeze, right? Yep. Up against the rifles, it doesn't matter. So the fact that you take these two, they both got to kill each with them as well. So they're actually already finding impact with these weapons which is something that's already of note. It's really a matter of, okay, we're up against these rifles. We need to play a couple different angles now. We need to oh, play some wow. close range angles. And this is the reason, well, this is the one downside of playing a KO on this map. You don't actually have a sky to heal. So this damage is now permanent. Oh, as <sighs> you will Headshot Tokyo machine, head. I'm telling you. She's an absolute freak on those. But Emmy, okay, strikes back onto Bethany. So that's a Sova gone. That's potentially really useful retake util out of the game for the time being. Rosa, damage, just go for a girl. More damage, can't quite secure the kill. She's missing her shots now. Okay, two body shots and gets the kill into Churo. That's beautiful. Back of her has already arrived. No scoping for her life. Nyla comes in. Good for one. Catches Mitch looking the wrong way. And it's all down to Emmy and a damn near unwinnable situation. The silver lining though, she'll get her ultimate regardless of what happens. Yeah, so she'll have to face a passive angle by Lane here. Perfect. Unless oh, wow. she turns away at the wrong time. <laughs> you caught it! Oh, I, I love the little switch, hey. Usually you see Nyla on the chamber slash sentinel, but mm. then Lady on, like, the smokes. And this is kind of exciting because we know how much of a headshot machine Lady is, so I'm really down for those frags. Oh, for sure. Absolutely. Whoa. And, um, you know, I was saying uh, early game as well. When Chamber gets the util online, especially the headhunter, and Lenny, she can land some nasty headshots, I'll tell you that. I'm expecting big numbers from her this game. It's probably the worst case scenario for, uh, for Colferi crew here. You've, you haven't managed to, you took two, well, I guess you took two guns out of their hands the previous round, but that's their bonus. So it doesn't even matter. You bring three rifles, you only have to reinvest two, and the economy is in such a insane position it's gonna have to take so many rounds to actually start chipping away at this now with another one towards that mid location zara's trying to find one onto rainbow but you're not finding too much success now though but the thing is you have this insane economy oh, gosh wait what do you do here you it's gonna take so long to, you're gonna have to do oh i don't know there's so much you're gonna have to do to actually be able to break this here the fact that you saved the three guns Enemy oh, hold up top here Last yeah um, okay. it's, it's a good attempt mm -hmm. but I really think coming into Breeze at least at the very start, yep, they have a solid idea of how they want to approach this map. And it's really just about the very crew doing damage control to bring things back oh. to something they can work with. But this is going to be elimination, you know. They're already down yeah. by one map. They can't afford to yeah, let Breeze, you know, slip but out of their hands. For me, it's like... I, the, is, the one biggest issue I think a lot of people find with Valorant is the fact that the game is way too momentum heavy. And the fact that you've already established four rounds at the start, look at their money. Look at that money. This is the second gun round of the game, and look at Gap's money. No, oh, like, they, how, like, like, like how is this? Is, this is actually unfair. Hey, it's unfair. Hey, okay, okay. Look, you say that right, but the thing is, I think CS is arguably a little bit even more momentum based. 16k cap, and when you do put this team on the eco, it takes them two rounds ecoing just to be able to buy back. Mm, that's the thing, though. They haven't died though, so they've been rewarded for, of I course. guess, keeping guns though. Um, there's that contact, so... Oh no, Rainbow Bunnies gets droned out and gets altered. 
Oh, and Emi gets, okay. gets nothing with it. Nyla, the Battle Viper, picks up first kill as well, downrange over towards mid. This is a very yeah. tough prospect right now for Clefairy crew. Although that yeah. makes it a bit doable. I'll take it back. Okay. Trades back and forth. 4v3. I mean, I'll be honest. Okay, oh never mind. I, I to, okay, I opened my mouth. Oh, all right. Well, <laughs> I don't, I, yeah, I'm just going to be quiet. Now it's a 3v3 scenario. Churros work their way onto the A site. They're not oh. going to be able to get Spike onto the site in time. Their Bethany completely just rips her head off. The timing! Oh, Mish Nyla. jumps around and Nyla. That's oh, a third for the round. Zara, big task ahead of her. And now look at the defense. They're playing it smart. They're not really swinging anything. They know where the bomb is. All they have to do is just play it slow. And Nyla, quad feed to end the round. This girl, she was a bit quiet map one. But map two, though, she's coming in swinging. Yeah, I mean, sometimes you don't get the opportunity to, I guess, get frags. And, you know, you could be sitting on the bottom of the scoreboard. But it's so nice to see them, like... You know, individually step up, for example, like 4k on a Viper, opening the round as well, I believe. Uh, first blood in. By the way, she hasn't, has she died? She's only died once. So. One death. I thought she hasn't died, I saw that zero. It was oh, I, I mean, I mean <laughs> five rounds. Yeah. One death. Yeah. Something as well as, she's played towards to play, that tunnel position. Play. I, like, I wanted to say she hasn't died yet though, but it's more of the fact that like, she's always had so much impact from what? that tunnel position. And speaking Spike of impact, everybody just completely W king down shot. Is that going to be a third kill? No, it's not. Zara finally with one on the board for the side respectfully. And that's another 3v3. The second though, they won't be expecting Wait. the second mission is aggressed onto the side for the spike. It's in the hands of Lanny. That's going to be a problem. We'll have a two oh, players coming trapped. to retake it. Lanny. Just depends on where you're looking. That's perfect intel on her part. Emmy strikes, takes down Rosa, Nyla in rough spot. And Lady just can't get any more done. Now it's all down to Nyla. She got the kill onto Emmy. Sharp on her part. 1v2 though. Ooh. And her util, it's not quite over towards the A side. Oh my god, she's popping heads. One more shot. But how much she misses a bit too much. And Mish will win out that round. Still down to 1v1 though. Yeah. Disgusting. Yeah, I don't know. It's it feels like an aim map, doesn't it? Like a death map, doesn't it? It's just insane headshots, you know, from everybody in the server. Um, I don't think no one it feels like, you know, not much whiffing happening, but like just a lot of headshots. You know, one thing, Connie, I didn't want to like uh, pick your brain about this is that Emmy, she's always been traditionally very deadly when she ha when she's on a operating role, but now yeah. she's playing more rifle, and I don't know, it just kind of feels like she fell off a, a little bit more. Oh dear, Rainbow Bunny. Yep, uh, trying to go for the same play twice. It's just not going to work out. There goes a the null command. And she gets caught out with no util. Flash comes through. Sight gets overwhelmed. And Tokyo, nice death from above. Slice and dices up Bethany. Nyla and Rosa. Two star players, at least for Breeze right now. Maybe attempting to retake this. But this is the momentum swing. And this is a good round for Clefairy Crew to bring it back under their control. And there you go. All down to Rosa. Ace it to win it. I want to put a pass though. It's a sharp headshot. Can't go any further though. That's a clean shot out. Yeah, you know what's interesting? It, you don't traditionally see Emmy on a Sova. You usually see her on a duelist type role, right? Yeah. Yeah, and it's odd because I believe it was. Did they? Have, they didn't have a Sova last round. Remember Bunny? They had a KO, yeah. yeah. It was just the KO. Uh. It was just the KO, and then Churo was on the <laughs> Brimstone. Yeah, it's a bit odd. Um. But, you know, defenders have four yeah. ultimates to play with this round. Um, I'm not sure if when Nyla's going to pop hers, so I guess, you know, seal off the choke point at B. Probably as... not now. No, definitely not. Yeah. Oh, this could be a huge lineup on her part, though. Nice moment to buy some more time. And there comes the oh, util, oh, which doesn't actually scan her. Rosa, that's an early oh. push. The lineup as well. She picks up two kills on three. Looking for the third. She gets it. That's the way to safety. Rosa, when she gets called to act, she delivers. That is beautiful. And she probably just wants the ace at this One point. There you go. Remaining. The fourth and the fifth. Rosa, that's clean. That is, that is monstrous. Oh, okay. The one thing... <laughs> Everybody in the chat, there it is. There's finally the Rosa Ace that we're finally expecting. Oh my god, yeah. It's it's one of those things where it's Rosa obviously top fragging on that first map. A little mm -hmm. bit silent on this map. And then out of nowhere, 
Everyone, okay, I, I'm not gonna say everyone forgot, but you know, everyone's just like, oh yeah, you know, Rosa, okay, she's good player, blah, 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 not too impactful on this map. And then out of nowhere, she's like, oh yeah, you guys remember me, right? Like, I'm still here, you know? Gets an ace. Yeah. And that's an impactful ace as well. That yeah. completely resets the economy as well. Mm hmm. You know, I think she was probably like, because I did give her a bit of fluff the other week, because she got four, two 4Ks, but she couldn't finish off, finish off the ace. Uh -huh. I think that was it there. And she'll get first blood into this round as well. Back to back aces. Zara. Back to back yeah. aces. Come on. <laughs> just, yeah, just, just four more. E eco farming. Stat. Oh okay, my so god, Pat. Stat, Patty. You're what joking. Oh, there you go. She had to get greedy. Go for a few kills there. Roman Bunny kind of threw her body into Tokyo, who picks up two on her part. So if Tokyo managed to pick, okay. to pick up more frags. Oh no, this is a Zara. Stat, Bethany. He kind of has no idea. But Tokyo busting off a bit more than she can chew. Here comes Rose. A little bit of damage. And leaves remaining. it to Bethany to finish off the job. Chiro, 1v3. The timing may not fail. Work out in her favor. Rosa ran out of ammo, though. And Shiro gets re revealed by the recon arrow. And however, she's out of her Viper Spat at this point. She could potentially get a kill onto Bethany. Here comes Nyla into the smoke. And Shiro just biding her time. Doesn't quite manage to land the flick, though. Overthought it a little bit. Bethany to finish it off. Wow, well, that's 7 to 2. It got a little bit closer than we expected, I guess, in this round. Yeah, I think there's a space off the Viper ulti, and I guess Rainbow Bunny and also who uh, who's the chamber? It was Lady, Lady who yeah. we, were, we were asking Rose to chase the ace, right? So they definitely ran into the, the, the attacker, so then they could die, and then Rosa can get the kills, right? Oh, of course. No. You think so? <laughs> oh, all right, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking, because Lainey had like the she got one kill before. Um, yeah, one down. kill. But unfortunately for Churro, they're not being able to clutch out uh, the 1v2. Mm. Even though, yeah, just not winning the duel against Bethany, that would have been a 1v1 if she, you know, won that duel. It's hard though. I, I feel like the one thing about Viper's Pit as well is like, obviously you can play into it, but a lot yeah. of the time the opponents can also play into it extremely heavily. Look at this aggression already. They're already oh up double doors here. Laney. <laughs> Okay, she kind of scoped down, and that was the uh, death, of, death of her on the right. second kill. Laney, right. Nyla gets revealed, though. It's kind of going for the swing. Yeah, it's easy peasy. Emmy tracking any day of the week. We'll punish that. No, uh, though, Rem Bunny gets to kill onto Mish, surprisingly enough. That shot that bounces oh. twice. Rem Bunny, she escapes by the skin of her teeth. Spike to go down. The defense, three girls strong on the retake. Emmy probably won't see the spike coming. Rosa, yeah, easy cleanup. Churro now in a very desperate situation. Needs one kill, backs away in the worst of times, and now gets pinched. Well, that went about just as well uh, as we saw. This is starting to get a little bit dire. Yeah, I mean, that's two rounds in a row, and they haven't had an answer. And yeah, this. Money flowing for the defending side as well. They're not going to be able to break this economy for the, the rest of the half, I believe. And again, a broken buy for Team Clefairy Crew. Marshall and a Spectre on Zara and Churro. It's, uh, it's been, the I guess, the story of this game. A lot of broken buys. Very, very bad economy. And it's not really their fault, though. They've just been getting... I, I guess outclassed on this map and their economy's been put in the bin the second that the bonus round was won by yep i mean that's kind of where this game started to fall apart if i'm being completely honest the fact that you can't get at least some sort of an economy online early in a game like valorant it's just it's so difficult mr or mr12 i mean you don't have as many rounds to play with as well this is so aggressive how are they allowed to get away with this rosa how does she get that kill on azara that's such an awkward angle but it One makes it look easy what is going on Found them, uh, apply pressure. Emmy, rough spot to be in. Rainbow Bunny just finds that head any day of the week. That was, that was just pure deathmatch. Last round in the half. And three curse, anyone? Nah, I'm joking. Um, I'm not, um, why? They had three <laughs> hero rifles that previous round, right? Let's talk about that. How much value did they get? Zero. Yeah, no, actually, that was hard. not even close that round. Um. I think the mid push by the defending side just crushed them. They're feeling themselves. It's looking to be a huge engagement over towards Elbow at the start of the round. Seek is right. All right, there yeah. we go again. Rosa, let's see what you can do. Pumps the blades. No, maybe want to go, go, go for the battle. Oh, Nyla as well with the pinch. The coordination, the teamwork, it's really favoring them right now. But the attack is, they kind of know better. The falling back, punishing the defensive push, potentially. If, if they had someone in window, definitely wouldn't have been able to fall back there, but Nyla gets away scot-free. Rosa will bite off more than she could chew there, picking two players. Alright. 
Yeah, he's the ones. He wanted to go for it again. Now that's sneaky from Bethany. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh what is that flash? Nice. Although this is a nice angle. Not that she can land any shots. It's a bit rough. Shock dart. It's also whiffed. And Zara could be on could be in positioning for a really good late lurk here. Oh, okay. But Nyla, the only girl to lock down the beast side for the time being. The Eldra doesn't detect her. She spots out, I think, the ponytail Tokyo. No puts, way, puts out some util. Oh, Hunter's nice. Fury. Oh, that's beautiful. Nyla in a bit of a trapped situation. And she still dodges the util. I don't know. Emmy on Sova. <sighs> I'm not convinced. Yeah, look, not especially with the KO going down early. That's the ulti wasted. As the trades. You're joking. Me will, you know, clean up. I thought it was going to be a trade for Clefairy crew there. If I'm being, yeah. I'm being honest, I don't, I don't know how Bethany managed to get the reset on there, but look, we've broken the 9 3 curse, so we've actually widened the gap <laughs> even more with the 10 2. Mm. So. Yeah. That's where true comebacks happen. Look, I. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, do, I, do I say the funnier? Do I say the funnier? What funny? Uh, if, uh. If Yep win the pistol round, they'll win the game. I said the funny, oh, guys. We're going to be here okay. for a while now. I've said the funny. Mm. All right. Predictions, bold predictions. Let's go. What is going on, what is going on here? What was, okay. I don't, know. Well, I don't know about that one, Chief. I mean, 100 was... Thieves, they did it once, I think. But I don't think we're going to see it tonight, to be honest with you. In my opinion right now, Clefairy Crew, Breeze is just not a map they're prepped for. Yeah, but they haven't played a single CT round. Also true. But oh. you're down by eight round, an eight round deficit. It's going to get a bit desperate. Me... Let me tell you a story of okay. how Sots Academy came back from a 10-2 deficit to win 14-12 Yeah, it doesn't Haven though. <laughs> I know, but it's happened. Mm. Oh, I remember that game. Yes, I do too. They were shaking as well Toss afterwards, but... Down. Oh, look at that, Shiro! You have no useful to play with. What do you do? Tokyo, any smokes? I don't even know at this point. There comes a flash. She dodges it. Short. And there comes a defense. Emmy for one. He's going to be brutal. She's dead too! With a single right click. But the attackers, they still clean up. It's okay. It's okay. I got a little bit excited. But however, yep, they still aggress onto the A site. But the spike, though, is getting ferried over towards B, taking the scenic route, leaving a lone jet to perhaps oh, wow. duke it out on site. But then again, the defenders are also reading into this really fast. Oh, no way. Okay, she got spotted. Hey, oh. That pulls Zara back. Yeah, it does. Hmm. Oh, wait. No, they're not buying it. Emmy's gonna be like, I'll just hold oh, the solo. Sheesh. That's a hard shot to land. But Mish, that's a great frag. And now, here comes the backup from Rosa. But Bethany's in a very tough spot. Rosa has to do some heavy lifting here. Headshot. Nice, clean, crisp. And all down to Zara. Oh, catches. Rosa out with the pants down. And the last bullet from Headhunter. Zara finishes the job. Bold play. Five bullets, only three currently in the cylinder. And Bethany playing against the half wall. A wall bang is all it takes. Is she going to do it? It's going to happen, isn't it? Come on, Zara. Do it. Do it. Oh, no. Ring around the rosy. Zara stepping around. And Bethany catches her with the pants down. Zara, a wall bang is all it takes. And yet, it's not planted for Bethany. So she could potentially be getting a defuse done here. And then again, the timing. Bethany's so good with this. And Rosara is missing his shots. Time is running out. Two bullets of the magazine. And Bethany, the jumping right click criminal. Hey. Oh. My question is, did Zara not know how low Bethany was? Because they pick up the Sheriff, which in a normal scenario would be okay, but up against the 2 yeah. HP member, why would you just not hold on to the classic? That, I, yeah. My, I don't know what's going on there, Connie. I think it might be... I'm not sure if it was communicated, or if she basically... Like, I don't know, maybe she had a preference for a Sheriff, for example. Except, uh, oh, I think that well, round was definitely, you know, off the back of Rosa there with the, oh, especially with the pick off um, Emmy on A, which pulls Zara back to, um, back towards the A site and, you know, attackers got it for free there. Turkey getting tagged up, but still re peeking. This is Ooh. desperate. Whoa. She knows that she has limited ammo, right? I mean, I mean it's good damage early on. Shot start, but late, but that recon hour is disaster. It's just absolute chaos back and forth. Nyla's fragile, but how much? It's not a classic. Oh. Bethany shocked up for one. Emmy trying to strike back with the oh. sheriff at that range, though. Could be looking for some 145s of one at this point. Spike to go down. 5v3, the defense 
they need to get something done here. This is where miracles are born. Do or die now or never. Match point is going to be a nail in the coffin. 12 to 2. That's almost insurmountable. Emmy, of course you want to be checking that angle, but she still gets the kill regardless. Spot, uh, spot another hit. Trying to punish some aggressive peaks. Spot to Bethany. And, he, there's, and there's on the flank. Mitch for one. And that was all down to Emmy. Oh dear. I spoke too soon. It looks like, yep, they still have it in them. They regain com composure and secure the round. Match point. Yeah, I thought the marshals, you know how, yep, their marshals did work for them in round two. And, yeah, they actually, well, they had no armor, but still. Um... It was bold. Yeah, they tried to go for damage, but now look, against match point, three marshals, a guardian, and a specter. Well, Chris, so, you want to say the funny? Right here. 13 too. <laughs> Oh dear. No, I'm not going to say the funny. 12 is all they get. I'm, 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 I'm not feeling funny today. Sorry, like, <laughs> it's I'm, the cost I'm, curse, watch. It's the cost curse. Right, we, just need to, we just need to shut up about this real quick, you know? Because otherwise something very unfortunate is going to happen. Oh, oh yeah. yeah? Absolutely well, for, unfortunate. For one of these teams, it's yep. unfortunate. Yep, it's going to take, you know, $150 home. <laughs> That's what's going to happen at this point. And absolutely humiliate the very crew with a dominant scoreline. Spike planted that quickly. This retake with... Three marshals is gonna be damn near impossible. Rosa on a cheeky off angle, good damage onto Zara. Rosa doesn't miss these shots. Zara goes down like a sack of bricks. Looking for more safe angle. Two towards Archers and Tokyo. That's sharp. I like that. Tokyo gets a Whoa. second. They have a ticket back into this round. Viper Wall is up. But have a look at look where the attackers are playing post one. Fantastic recall and arrow. They're doing it. This is where miracles are born. It's all down to Nyla now with the Bulldog. And she gets headshotted. Two oh, from Tokyo. Two so from Toro. Oh, dearie me. You're joking. Okay, no, I funny say? for you, Crash. Yeah, well. Cold it's it. funny, right? Like. Ah, uh, okay, look, whatever. I, I don't know. <laughs> it's just what happens. Like, Guardians and Marshals in this map are disgusting. That's a B retake. That's a B retake with these guns that have to push in these close sort of angles. There's not really... I think the one... I guess you could argue it's is a mistake. They're not really playing towards that back site as much where the Marshals and the Guardians aren't going to shine as much. You can play the mm. range. You know, you can play these automatic weapons at those sorts of ranges. You have a, arguably the advantage there. So... I guess when you go up against these sorts of marshals, you need to just be kind of hiding. Let them come to you and just punish them when they get into your space because, you know, they shouldn't really be able to, cap, I guess, hey, look. find as much value yet. And look what happened. They, they were punished were, by the Guardians. They were up by like 10 rounds. I think they got a, a bit cocky there, oh, thinking that they're going to get a few kills. Oh, Tokyo just gets this absolutely clapped. Thankfully, the trade is instant. They don't need a little bit more, though. Rema Bunny, nice. Tanks a shot. We'll finish off Churo. But Emmy's just popping heads at this point. Another shot. Mish tapping away. Lenny to finish the job. Hedgehog Machine back in action. Then the defense, once again, on the back foot. And Emmy in a bit of a rough spot. Right. You may not know there's right another oh, on the flank. Man. And that's all down to Zara. 1v3. It's a rough spot to be in. Team Ace, 13-3. Okay, I guess Yep was playing with the food initially a little bit, but they will finish the uh, game pretty wickedly quick. Yeah, I wanted to say another funny. I wanted to say Emmy gets four there, but look, mm -hmm. I, uh, I didn't. I didn't actually have a chance to say it, so it was uh, <laughs> very convenient that time. That's all I'm gonna say. Yeah, much different school line here. I think it's just probably oh, maybe just not too comfortable on Breeze for Clefairy Crew. Um, and just overall individual brilliance. I think. Overall, the headshots were, you know, come in for Yep there. Mm -hmm. And we didn't see much action from the KO, because usually when, um, you know, the knife the knife comes out um, on executes, it's it's like they can't use counter util, right? The Viper Wall goes down, Orbs goes down as well. The, the Jet can't dash as well. And I don't know, it didn't really find much impact that game. What are your thoughts, Crash? I think... Yeah, it's hard. well. It's not something you're gonna find immediate success with. Obviously, you need to learn timings. You need to learn how, or I guess, adapt mm. on the fly how the opponent's, I guess, drone timing is going. Something yeah. that I, I think, sums up that game completely is probably the fact that. Look, I don't want to say the game was over from this point because it's it's kind of disrespectful to say. But when that bonus round was won by Yep, I think that's when, it was very hard for me to see a world where Clefairy make it. I guess a comeback into this game because if you win that bonus round so cleanly with three members alive and the economy's out of control mm. you finish with a 10-2 half and now you're going onto your attacking half when breeze is generally like a 7-5-8-4 map 
I mean, at that point, it's it's so hard to bring yourself mentally back into that game as well. I think this game was very summed up. I guess you could argue that it's summed up by the momentum that was established very early on. Yep. Absolutely. And towards the very end there against match point, uh, you know, we kind of alluded to that crappy buy they had going on. But perhaps, like you said, at that point, mentally, they were kind of just out of it. So in that kind of a, a state, there was nothing much to lose. Just run it in and see what happens. And then they kind of just caught, uh, yep, playing a little bit. Mm, unorthodox trying to go for these challenges and the trades were going back and forth but suddenly you had these individual mo moments of brilliance they fell in the zone for just a second the flow state they picked up headshots individually super clean and they retook the site but as soon as the, the, the next round starts you saw uh yep once again just go back to their roots pound one side as a as an entire team and then just start picking up these frags the splits and just puts a defense and once again a very rough spot and from that point on it was just a really downhill slope and Living Zara in that 1v3 situation, I think it was, with a Spectre. Oh, it's, yeah, it's done. No chance. Long range. I just want to point out, if you could look at the first bloods, it's, it was 12 to 4. So, Yep had 12 first bloods compared mm. to uh, Clefairy Clue, who only had, like, 4. With Emmy with 2, and also Zara with 2 as well. Yeah. So, they were, I guess, most of the game, they were down a player um, at the start of the round, um, just from the stats alone, I guess. Yeah, that definitely doesn't favor them at all. But you know what? Let's do something fun now because we do have an interview from uh, the nominated person on the side of Team Yep, and it's going to be Bethany. So let's uh, get her in and see what she has to say. Assuming she picks up, of course. But yeah, look, Yep, I... Who was it that won last week? Was it unfortunate? Yeah, I think it was unfortunate, so that's good. But today, this week though, initially for Bind, I really liked the rivalry these two teams had going for each other. But Breeze, that was just a whole nother animal entirely. And like you guys said a little bit earlier, Cl uh, Clefairy Crew, they were just out of the game. They th seemed to not have the direction. They lost the momentum. And it was just a rough spot. Yeah, no, actually, last week was the winner was actually Yep. And the week before it was unfortunate. Um... Hello, hello. Well, she's here <laughs> finally. Just a little bit of tech issues. But hey, look, Bethany, welcome, welcome. Pretty clean 2-0 series, I reckon. Map 1 was a little bit uh, neck and neck, but map 2, oh, wow, what happened there? You guys just turned on. Yeah, I don't know. We were just like all hitting our shots. Shit went smooth. Things were just working, you know. Felt good. Um, Yeah, pretty good oh. week from us. Um, What are your thoughts on the veto today? Did you Were you happy to play the maps today, like Bind and also... Breeze. We didn't get to see Haven, unfortunately, but you know, 2-0 um, is a 2 zero. Not gonna lie, we didn't really want to play Bind because every time we verse Emmy's team on Bind, we get stomped. And, like, I don't know, we're just oh, really, really nervous. But yeah, we, we had um, two new players with us this week, so we we're just trialing like different roles and stuff like that. But yeah, just felt really good. Yeah, because um, today, actually, you know, you said that you guys on Bind, you guys had this look kind of a, uh, a fear in the back of your minds going to that map. But tonight, it was a completely different story. It was a bit close at the start, but towards the end, you guys just completely took off and just closed that really cleanly. So what really helped you guys, you know, find that extra oomph to go the distance? Um, I think it was just like playing off information we had from other rounds in the half, like on attack rounds. We knew they were, they were playing B retake and we knew that KO was just sitting elbow. So we decided to like push elbow and get that initial pick on KO. And there was just stuff like that and reading like where they're going to be playing. Yeah, I don't know. It just felt really smooth how we were reading, how we were like responding to how they were playing. Yeah, yeah no. Might, it might just be the honeymoon phase. <laughs> <laughs> Dear honeymoon phase of new players uh, this week. No, um, but yeah, no, that was, if you go watch the VOD, obviously, um, uh, Crash mentions it. He mentions that, you know, you guys keep executing on B, the, the double smokes come down, and then, you know, after the post plant, you got nothing else to hold uh, for the post plant, sorry. And then, you know, you end up losing the post plant, uh, like 4v2s, 2v4s. Did you want to talk about oh, that? Oh, yeah. I don't really know what's happening, happening half the. I think it was just like, yeah, because obviously we haven't played like together four or five. Mm. So we don't really have like. Where we should be playing in post plans, and there was just some like discussion, I guess. But um, yeah, we did lose some post. Yeah, so perhaps it's just the protocol not quite fully drilled in yet to um, yeah. your team, given the new chemistry, of course. All right, so Bethany, one fifty bucks. It gets split between five players. What you guys gonna do with it? Um, well, RB just bought a fucking 
vandal skin, so that's where her money went. <laughs> Investments. Skins yeah, for the wins, mate. She got the glitch pop vandal dripped out for this week. Oh, yeah, nice. kind, yeah, kind of mid, in my opinion. Yeah. Not the best. Oh, yeah, look, I, I have to agree with you, but, you know, he rates it, so... <laughs> All right, hey, look, if it, if it uh, tickles her, her pickle, fantastic. All the more power to her. Well, look, Bethany, yep. thanks for coming on. Clean 2-0 series, and we hope to see you next week and keep the momentum going. Cheers. Thanks for cast, guys. Well, uh, Crash is, uh, Chris has probably just gone over to the bathroom and it's what it is. Oh, no, he comes back He's suddenly. Back. So, yeah, Chris. I don't want to talk about it. What you uh, think about that, huh? Look, uh, the game? Well, the interview, really. Definitely. Yeah, look, I mean... Look, I didn't hear too much of it. I'm not going to pretend like I did. But uh, I think I had a quick chat with Kay mm -hmm. like, a couple seconds ago. Yeah. I th if they're saying together as five, I think for me... It, it's not it's a good thing to see because i think the one thing that we're miss we're lacking right now is a bit of stability on these rosters mm -hmm. yeah and also i would also like to like i know it's a bit off topic but just a quick shout out to kraken as well they've actually picked up like an all-female roster yeah so i think an org picking up a roster like that is always like a really good thing to see so obviously another team that's going to be saying as this core five i think that's always going to be something that's interesting to see because you know, I, I had a chat uh, a while back with you guys about this. I think for me, it's really hard for me to follow a player as a as opposed to like a team. I like watching a team develop instead of a player oh, really? develop. And the fact that we're going to be having uh, more... Oh, I mean, it depends though. In this sort of a... When it's very unstable, I would much rather watch teams develop instead of just like one player pop up on a random roster here and there. there. Yeah. But I think because the fact that we have a, at least two consistent rosters right now, and they're probably going to be going at each other next Thursday, I'd like to assume. It's going to be something that's really going to be, for me, quite interesting to watch at least. Well, hey, look, uh, who was it? Kraken, they picked them all, all film with team. Who's next? Mm -hmm. Mind Freak FE Valorant, maybe, putting it out there. He probably won't hear it. Michael, if you're there, though, uh, it's something <laughs> worth considering. But hey, look, guys, I think there is one more thing that we should do, just uh, spur of the moment, that we should do per week, right? The weekly player award. So this week, at least for grand finals, because it's the only series that we casted. I think for me, I'm going to have to give it to Nyla. I think her impact on map two as Viper really gave them a huge boost to moment to uh, momentum to build up that big score line. Yeah, look, she originally she used to play on Fuego, and she was definitely one of the like two players to watch on that team. Mm -hmm. Um, and she looks like she's slotted in quite well um, in the Sentinel role for Yep here. Uh, playing Chamber, but also showing versatility on map 2 as well, with massive impact on the Viper. So, Sentinel and Controller, I mean, that's a, such a great kind of like fill flex role if you're looking for like, you know, a support player. So, definitely like, big impact. Alright, so she gets your weekly award as well? Mm -hmm. Alright, and Chris, all you. Uh, I think, look, I don't want, I'm not, I don't want to try to do like a random cop-out answer, but I think... It's hard for me, if I'm being completely honest. Arguably, think... Mish was also pretty good. Um, Kay, I think that was on Bind, right? Um, she sh uh, shut down the we'll, low. We'll play. We'll play both mm. on both maps at least. Mm -hmm. I think. I think for me, I'm gonna. You know, I'm gonna give it to all of Yep for the one reason of I'd like to see some consistency, and I think Yep is bringing that to the table in terms of rosters. So I'm gonna give it to the. I'm gonna give a pat on the back to Yep if you guys stay as five. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be proud of you guys. You know, I want to see that development come through. I want to see you guys even better next week. It's a very, it's a bit of a cop out, I know, but I think, I think Ooh. it's, it gets me, it gets me excited, essentially. All right. For the future. Cool, girls, you're in the chat. You heard them. And team, yep. Let's see what happens next week. If the roster changes again, I'm gonna be. Well, Chris is gonna be pulling his hair out, but oh, we'll, we'll, even, we will see what just, happens next oh, week. Man. As you guys know, be very upset. Legion of Valkyries, the weekly uh, tournament every Thursday night. Girls, if you're watching, sign up, have some fun, and you could be in to win some money. As always, I'm Digital Cast, Crash OBS, Connie. Thank you guys for watching. See you next week. <laughs>